One of the men convicted of killing Cassie Jo Stoddard five years ago this month could soon be back on trial in Pocatello. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. In a split decision, the Idaho Supreme Court today threw out a conviction in an eastern Idaho murder case that started five years ago this month. Today's decision does not mean Brian Draper will be leaving prison for killing Cassie Jo Stoddard five years ago. The court upheld, though, his conviction on first-degree murder and his sentence of life in prison without parole, but the court did throw out the conviction on conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, which means he could be brought to Pocatello to be tried on that charge again. Nearly five years ago, this community nightmare began. Two teenagers were making videos of how they planned to kill classmate and friend Cassie Jo Stoddard. On September 22nd, the murder took place. By the next summer, Brian Draper and Tori Adamchik had been convicted of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit first-degree murder, and they had been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Now, five years later, the Idaho Supreme Court has ruled that the murder conviction and life sentence should stand for Brian Draper, but the conspiracy charge is vacated. They came to that decision because of the instructions given to the jury. Jury instruction that basically could have been misleading to the jury and there's no way to know from the decision that was made whether or not they were misled or not. What this now means is that Brian Draper could come back to Pocatello and be tried again on the conspiracy charge. That decision now rests with the Bannock County Prosecutor's Office. And we need to review all the factors and determine what's going to be the, in the interest of justice on the conspiracy to commit first degree murder charge. Tori Adamchik's appeal is still pending before the Idaho Supreme Court. Pearson says it's possible the court could come to the same decision as in the Draper appeal. That opinion is expected in coming weeks. In the meantime, Cassie's family is pleased with Tuesday's decision. The second we got the decision, we spoke with Anna Stoddard today and also Victor in this particular matter and advised them of the decision. They were happy and excited that uh, the fixed life portion was affirmed and also the conviction of first degree. There's still, though, the matter of the retrial. Many may be of the opinion that this issue should be dropped. So the sentence can't get any worse. Uh, it seems to me that it would be in everybody's best interest just to drop it. Let it go. You've already got what you're going to get out of this man. And putting this community back through that kind of stress again makes no sense at all. Now, there's no timeline from the prosecutor's office on making a decision about retrying Draper. Draper's options for appeal are now exhausted on a state level. He can proceed, though, with appeals on a federal level.